Good morning, everybody. How are you? I hope you're having a good week. I hope your Monday has started strong. I am actually in Indianapolis this week, so I'm coming to you from Indy um, from my hotel room, so this is not how um, fancy my house looks. But um, I wanted to come and do a quick video clip this morning because um, I, I just think it's easier and I like to talk a little bit more. But um, I wanted to come to you. We're in week two. Wanted to see how you're doing. Um, this week we're focusing on body and physical progress and seeing how things are going. And I wanted to talk a little bit about goals, um, measurements, any small successes, any invisible results that you're starting to see. Um, and I wanted to ask you what those are. Um, it's in, invisible results, non-scale victories. What are some things that are happening out there that you're seeing that are making changes, that are making differences in your life? So that could be um, maybe your pants are a little bit looser. Maybe your uh, rings are a little bit looser. Maybe you've lost some of that salt bloat. Um, I know I'm a big salt fan. Um, that can be where I get a lot of bloat from sometimes. Um, maybe it's the fact that you're drinking water and your body is starting to feel much better. Maybe it's that added energy from the Shakeology. Um, you've been probably drinking Shakeology at least now for um, one to two weeks. Um, which it takes about a week, a good week and a half sometimes, um, to break through and to start to feel the, the results from all the superfoods you're starting to eat because that's all that junk's getting out of your body and it's allowing your body to process and to work in a much better rate and you're starting to feel much better about yourself and that natural energy is starting to come about you which as mamas we need right i mean so many times and so for so long you know you hit that afternoon wall you're exhausted you've got kids whether um you're you're a full-time working mom at home because i think that when you're a stay-at-home mom you are way way crazier sometimes than us mamas that have to work um, but I think we all have that balancing act, no matter whether you're stay at home or your work, we have so much on our plate that we are both, and all of us are full-time working mamas, <clears throat> and it's a lot to deal with sometimes, and so um, I want to know what are the successes you're seeing? Maybe it's the fact that you're pushing play every day. Maybe that's a big um, one. Maybe you've given up um, some pop, or maybe you've cut down your pop from, or your soda from <clears throat> maybe two cups Sorry, I don't know where I got my throat. Maybe um, two pops a day to a pop a day. Um, all those types of things, those small successes, they all add up. So, so don't take any of that kind of stuff for granted because it's, it's hard sometimes for all of us to do that. So think about what those could be. Um, and I want you to share those with us. Share below one small success or one invisible result that you have found. Um, this last week um, that you are just so excited about that you might think, oh, I guess that's, you know, that's exciting for me, but maybe that wouldn't be big for anyone else. But they are. All those things are so exciting. They're so, so, so exciting. Um, and I think that's always great to share with everybody what they are. Um, I just have some notes. I want to make sure I hit it all. Um, um, okay, and so I also want you to evaluate how your first week went. How did your um, nutrition go? How did your um, fitness go? How is your water intake? Um, are you reading personal development? I will say for me, personal development was something that I was like, eh, I don't necessarily need. I'm a pretty happy person. Um, I don't know what it can kind of value can add to my life. But I will tell you that it has added so, so much value in my life. Um, that I, I don't know what I would do without it. So um, I want you to think about, you know, adding that if you have not added it. Daily affirmations. This light's like right in my face. Um, daily affirmations. If you haven't done those or haven't started those, those have made such a difference in my life too. Um, believing in myself and knowing that I can do it and I have the confidence and that I can handle anything that's thrown my way makes such a difference. So those are all the things I want to touch base with you this Tuesday morning. Um, let me just make sure there wasn't anything else on here that I wanted to make sure I talked to you about. Um, oh, think about any downward trends. Um, and, and when I say that, I want to say all your hard work that you've had in the kitchen and all that you've had in your workouts, you know, you should be seeing downward trends like lot inches lost, leaner pictures, which who doesn't like a leaner picture, um, pounds on the scale, um, you know, uh, 
Like I said, any of those non-scale victories, so maybe your pants are a little bit looser, maybe you just feel a little bit better, your bloat isn't as much. Um, those are types of things that I always feel are downward trends, and I love that because um, you're you're you know you're taking care of your body and you're you're helping it out and you're fueling it the right way. And when you feel that your body just naturally becomes in the state that it needs to become in, and the way it can operate at a much better pace, so. Tell us what those are. Um, you should be losing or could be losing up to a pound to two pounds a week, and over time, that adds up. The compound effect, I don't know if you guys have ever read it, and if you haven't read that book, that is amazing. The compound effect is amazing, but it's little things, and adding those little things every day, they begin to add up to big, big things. So think about what those little changes are every day that you're doing, drinking your water, eating better, fueling better. Um, even if you had a miss up or anything like that, if you ate a better breakfast with your Shakeology and you ate a better lunch, but maybe had a little foul you know, at dinner, that's okay. Because think about maybe where you were before. Maybe in the morning you ate a muffin to go and for lunch you ate fast food or ate the nuggets and fries that you fed your kids. And then, you know, for dinner, maybe you guys had carry out or, you know, you had a, a, a big starch and, you know, pasta and stuff like that. Um, it all adds up. So any little changes you make can make such a difference. So think about that. Tell us what your successes are. Share them below and tag your coach. Let us know what you're doing and we want to be there to help you. All right, guys, you have a happy Tuesday and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.